Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. In today's video, we are kind of getting crafty stuff done during Jack's nap as well as after the kids go to bed. So we're going to start off by making a very simple Dollar Tree DIY. I really wanted to have something quiet for Jack to play with while we go to mass. Bringing a two-year-old boy to church and expecting him to sit still for an hour seems impossible. So I wanted to have something quiet that can keep him occupied in a pinch. So I found these little car erasers at the Dollar Tree as well as a little like pill organizer. And I thought this would make like the perfect little like garage system for the cars and so my initial idea was that I would erase the days of the week or those initials using some acetone and you know some cotton balls but I was disappointed to find out that that just didn't work and I had used a similar technique in the past and then I finally remembered I need to introduce a magic eraser as well. So the magic eraser actually did erase the letters on the pill container, but it actually worked a little bit better when I used both the magic eraser and my acetone. Now, this isn't at all necessary. If you wanted to, you could just put the cars in these boxes and call it a day, but I do think it looks a little bit better and less, you know, cluttered with the letters off of the pill container. One extra thing that I did was I went through some scrap fabric that I actually use for waxing and I found this little fabric that had houses like all over it. So I thought that this would be perfect to go ahead and cut out the images so that they could be laid out and the cars could drive from home to home or whatever, you know, my kids come up with with their imagination. My scissors were a little bit dull, so I ended up switching to this like rolling cutter from Dollar Tree actually, and it cut the fabric very nicely and very quickly, which, you know, is necessary during a nap time where you're trying to get a bunch of things done. Now the eraser pack actually had 12 different erasers, but there were six styles. So hypothetically, I could have gotten two of these pill organizers, put one car in each little slot and left one remaining slot for the fabric homes and then had one pack for Jack as well as one for Aubrey so that, you know, they get the exact same thing. But since I didn't think of that when I was purchasing these items, I just went ahead and put two of the same car in each little pill slot container and then had to double up with two of them so that I could have two compartments to hold all of the fabric homes. Now, oddly enough, I haven't actually had the opportunity to use this at church, but I did bring it to dinner and the kids had a blast. The next crafty thing that we are getting done is repairing a book. Now, this book has lasted since Jack's birth. This was his gift to Aubrey when he came home from the hospital. Some of you guys may remember that little clip in one of my videos a long time ago. And up until this point, it has survived. It hasn't gotten ripped. There's really no bent pages. But the other day, Jack just went and like tore this page in half and I was so disappointed. I really try my best to get the kids to respect our stuff and take care of it so that, you know, we're not just having a bunch of broken things all around. But unfortunately, I didn't get to this in time. So we do have a ripped page, but I did repair it as best as I could, lining up all the letters, and I think it will be okay. Moving on, we're going to actually label some new items for Aubrey's treat ticket store. A new method I have kind of embraced in regards to treat tickets. This is kind of our family's currency when Aubrey makes a good choice, when she doesn't like retaliate if Jack hits her, if she does a lot of homework or, you know, any other type of chores. I tend to pay her with treat tickets. And sometimes she cashes them out for a show, sometimes she cashes them out for candy, or just items, you know, that she really likes. But one of the things that I've recently kind of done more of is taking her with me shopping and letting her pick things that she would want to earn treat tickets for. This way she's maybe more motivated to do a chore that she, you know, normally wouldn't be motivated to do because she doesn't have this like drive to get this item that she really wants. She's a very, I guess you could say materialistic. She really likes trinkets. She likes collecting things. She may end up being on a hoarder's show <laughs> when she's an adult, but she's an organized hoarder at least at this point. So she likes collecting things. She likes getting things that she can use, like these bath paints. 
So I have just found that bringing her with me to the store, getting her excited about the things that she gets to pick out will help her stay motivated, do her homework, do her chores, be kind to her brother, even though he may not be kind to her. And it's just an overall win. So I'm putting price tags on these items so that, you know, she can have a goal in mind when she sees them. She can kind of shop at the store and say, "Ooh, I really want to get that. Okay, I need to, you know, do seven treat tickets worth of X, Y, or Z. And something I've just kind of come to decide is, you know, when this box is full, the next time that we're going to buy new items to fill it up is when the box is empty. That way something doesn't catch her eye in the store, we get it, and then we go shopping again and she finds something that she likes more and then she outgrows that interest for the original item. Moving on, we're going to do some 4th of July decorations. I know that this video is going up after the 4th of July, so I really hope that you guys enjoyed your Independence Day if you are in America, and if not, I just hope you had a great July 4th. I would like to apologize for not putting this out earlier to, you know, maybe inspire you guys for your own decorations, but just things have been off with me. I haven't been feeling 100% and I'm still trying to, you know, stick to my schedule, but it's just been a little bit more difficult for me. But anyways, we've hung up a Dollar Tree wreath. We have three strands of like wired decor from Dollar Tree that I'm putting around my mirror. This is kind of my typical decorating spot. And then I'm going to be decorating in a new way, which I hope to incorporate in future holidays and birthday parties. And this is going to be actually decorating the extra toilet paper rolls. What you do is you take two napkins of your desired decor theme and overlap them so that half of either one are overlapping together. So essentially you have three halves in the total length of this new napkin piece. And then you're going to put your toilet paper roll in the middle of it and wrap the napkins around the toilet paper roll circumference and then tuck in the part that is sticking up into the hole of the toilet paper roll. This is just a very simple way at bringing a little bit of extra decoration to your bathroom. Now in September, we plan on having a bird party for Aubrey's sixth birthday party. She's in love with birds. And so I made sure to pick up some flamingo napkins from the Dollar Tree, since that's kind of a popular summer theme for them to have out. I made sure to snag some up before they're gone for our birthday party. So you guys will see that in a future video. Now I did trim off some of that wired decoration and I got some other items from Dollar Tree to make some decorations for my pendant lights. If you've been with me for a while, you know that I have been trying to make these for, you know, the major holidays or seasons. And so for 4th of July, I kind of wanted it to feel more like just a bunch of fireworks going off on top of our pendant lights. So I got these weird like corally things from the Dollar Tree that I ended up cutting down because when I put them and tested them out originally, it just seemed a little too tall. And then I took that extra like wired decoration and looped it around my finger, making it like a little coil and sticking those in as well. I didn't end up using the round little vase fillers, but I figured I could use those in some other craft, maybe later on or in a future year.
Now, when I was shopping for things for this decoration, I really wanted to have like mini American flags that I could put up there. Maybe that were like two inches by three inches, but I really couldn't find any at the Dollar Tree. So I ended up getting a three pack of, you know, essentially relatively small American flags. They just weren't as small as I was hoping for. And instead of sticking them in the foam of my pendant like decoration, I just took my remaining wired star decor and use that to secure a flag to each pendant light. Now this will be more difficult to then remove. It's not as easy as just taking the foam off the top of my pendant light. Maybe in the future I'll secure it to the part of my foam that kind of curves in the very center so having just like the flag stick straight up and down but I do like the little look of the flags dangling off in either direction of my pendant lights. I took my final American flag and stuck it in a candle on my windowsill and then I moved on to adding some window clings to our bathroom mirror. Anyways, I hope this video inspired you to get some of your crafty things done. If you guys liked it, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. I would really appreciate it. And if you are new here, I would love it if you stick around and subscribe and check out all of my motherhood content and I'll catch you in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.